You know, some of these things we haven't been able to change in a long time. With a lot of research, thought, customer input, you know, really started putting this framework of a product plan together. And it dawned on me that it wasn't a high enough level of engineering for us to actually pull this off. That led to an engineering revolution for us where we built the G 100% virtually. I'm Nate Goldenberg. I'm one of the five owners of Brinkley RV and I'm the lead designer for the Model G. From start to actually getting into production, I mean, we're talking like a year of prototyping and feedback and tweaking. By the end of it, it's not even a prototype because you've literally built the unit on the computer. So if you looked at the model, I mean, we can show you every cabinet door, every drawer pull. The detail level is extreme. We would build something, install it, function it, and if it wasn't right, we would rip it out. A lot of our foundation was based on what we learned with Z and hundreds of changes that came back from Micah's trip. I was fortunate around Christmas this year to get out with my family on a 10-day camping trip in South Florida. Their eyes on us to make sure that we have trips planned and we had an amazing one this year in the first Model G. Hit the road and I started heading to Florida. It's uh, about three in the morning. 28 degrees out, got a long way to go. Wanted to get on the road. The unit's towing amazing, smooth, really no chucking at all. Kind of late that next day, I was south of Atlanta in a town called Forsyth, Georgia, and I met up with some good friends, past customers. You know, I'm kind of tired from getting off the road, and you know, all of a sudden it kind of hit me. It's like, all right, this is game time. So started taking them through it and man, they were impressed. Between Georgia and Florida, we could hardly pass a rest stop without somebody chasing us down or stopping us in the rest stop. It was like this rolling show all the way to Miami. We continued on to the Keys. First campground we were at was in Big Pine Key. Great place if you've ever seen it, right on the water. We had a great campsite. Uh, we set up and we used the heck out of it. I mean, we really did. Toy haulers have a lot of utility. Um, one reason our family likes them is because we like taking a golf cart to the campground. You know, if the campground allows it, we like taking fire pits and grills and stuff like that too. You know, we also have a large family and it's great for us to have kind of separated living with that utility where we can put all the girls in an area where they have their own bathroom and uh, it just works a lot better. We switched campgrounds, we went up to Key Largo. Sure enough, you know, we start getting messages online. Hey, is this a new Brinkley over at the campground and spot whatever? You know, customers coming to the door and checking it out and a lot of good feedback there. Everybody was picking up really quick on how functional the kitchen was, how much storage there was, and how you could actually use this for a full family like ours on long trips and be more than comfortable. I think over the years, toy haulers have gotten kind of this masculine negative kind of reputation and it was awesome seeing people respond to the interior look. You know, our head of interior design, Megan Bailey, definitely led the charge, you know, and Megan did an incredible job. So when they would walk in, instead of saying like, oh, this is a toy hauler and walk away, they're like, oh my gosh, you know, and then you listen to them five minutes later and they're talking to their husband about, you yeah, know, maybe we could have a toy hauler. <laughs> To be in a business that we're so passionate about and then see that kind of excitement from our customers, it was unreal. You know, you work that hard on a proto and then you come back and change 70 things and your team doesn't lose their mind, that's when you know you have the right people. I think anybody who's watching our company has heard us talk about how we have designed out a lot of the industry's warranty issues. All that little stuff is what really makes it great and what makes your camping experience awesome. When you're in the business every day, having control, being able to navigate things quickly and um, make the right business decisions for your employees, for your customers, uh, without outside influence is the way that we prefer to do business.
We love the connection that we can make with our customers and I think there's something magical about when you as a consumer can connect with the right private company you can trust. And it's a big part of what we're building here at Brinkley.